the time to it's very important that as stakeholders in the mission that we stay in touch with the mission stay abreast of everything that is happening in the mission so that we can always be aware of how we're achieving how we're serving and where our opportunities are to continue to serve so again, thank you um, on all the campuses, Kingston, Mount Patrick, JDD, Montego Bay. Thank you so much for all making the time. Students, teachers, parents, all stakeholders, we really are very thankful to have you. Also thankful to each of the board members who are present in the meeting. I am going to ask that they, um, open their videos for a second and say hello, introduce themselves for those of you who may not know them already. But if you know them and you've forgotten what they look like over the last 12 months, you get an opportunity to see them again. Um, I have Kent here in the room with me, so I'm going to ask him to come up um, and when it's his turn, maybe he can start the proceedings with the introductions and then we will continue. We're here till 4.30. So we're gonna keep this program tight. And just some notes for those of you online, we'd love it if you would put your names there so we can see who's there. If it's a group of you that are sharing the screen, then let's see that, know where you are, which group you are. Um, please remember to keep your microphones muted so we don't get background noise. Also remember to unmute if necessary and or share your video so we can see you signing if you want to share anything or ask any questions we're going to be using the hand raise for any voting that might need to happen so ask you to just take your time and find that button um, in the meantime so let's go ahead and get the introductions and highs and the hellos from the members of the board kent you want to start Welcome everyone, um, Ken Holder. I think this is my sixth uh, AGM meeting that I've been able to attend in person. And again, just appreciate everyone's support. I uh, serve on the board as the treasurer. Thank you, Ken. And I'll allow team members um, online to unmute and, and say their welcome as it's convenient. Hello from Pennsylvania in the United States. This is Patty Stout. I'm a board member. Thank you everyone for your involvement with CCCD. Lord bless you. Hi everyone. I'm Jean Laurie Chin. I'm in Kingston and it's really an honor to serve on this board. Such an outstanding uh, faculty, beautiful students, and wonderful fellow board members. It's a pleasure. Welcome. Hey, everyone. Ben Bukema here in Michigan, representing CCCD USA. So I'm glad to join. This is my 12th uh, AGM meeting. So glad to join you remotely this time. So hopefully I'll see you in person sometime soon. Hi, everyone. I'm Grace Lindo. I had put my name in the chat for some reason. I am a board member joining you um, remotely today just because I had a meeting before I, the travel time didn't allow. But please know that I am with you in spirit, I'm praying for a good meeting, praying for a productive meeting and, and one that will leave us all fulfilled at the end of the day. Thank you very much for having me and allowing me to serve. Hi, is that, is that everyone? Um, Pata, Laura. Right, and we do have Mr. Sams, our executive director is also in the room and we also have members of the leadership team in the room, as well as some of our students. Our um, external life support teams, welcome, thank you. Um, and principal campus managers for Kingston are also here. So again, thank you so much. So 
Um, as other persons join, um, we will see them online, see them on the screen from time to time. But we're going to continue now towards our devotion. So we want to spend some time um, in the presence um, of, of God, in, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, we want to support everything that we do, all our gatherings with an acknowledgement of the word of God. And so I'm going to invite Lola to open her video and lead us in the devotion and also introduce herself, um, which she didn't get to do a while ago. So while Lola is doing devotion for us, I'm going to exit stage left and uh, I'll come back when that is over. So I ask you all just to quiet your hearts, um, put your thoughts on God, Christ, put your thoughts um, in a peaceful place and just open your hearts and be ready to, to, to receive what Lola has to share with us this afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to begin by wishing for you all a very happy, a very blessed new year. Um, I'm wishing you new year blessings. Um, it may be a bit late. What is it? The 17th of um, the 17th of uh, January, but at the same time, it's not too late to be sharing New Year blessings at this time. It's really great to be with you all. Um, it doesn't seem a year already since we were last together. And as we come together this afternoon, um, there was a little bit of problem with communication, but the Lord has laid something on my heart. It's a particular verse that I have really been um, endeavoring to, to study and to just get the depths and the, of what the Lord would have us to understand from this verse. And it is Ephesians chapter 15, I'm sorry, Ephesians chapter one and verse 13. Um, uh, let us see. Um, I will read verse verse 15 and verse 15 and 16 of Ephesians 1, Paul speaking, wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in our prayers. And, you know, as I focus on this particular verse, I, um, you know, I went back to the beginning of the chapter. And what I found there was, you know, Paul speaking, addressing the Ephesians, the people in Ephesus, and what came across to me was the warmth of his greeting, the sense of security that he gave to his, his um, readers, and also the love that came across. And so I'm going to go briefly back to verse one and then back to verse 15. So Paul begins his letter by saying, Paul, an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints in which it to the saints, which are all are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. And as we listen to the way in which he greets the brethren, he says, Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and from our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, and as he starts out, Paul wants the believers, these are the believers who later on he says, when I first heard that you had accepted the Lord as Savior, I rejoiced, and therefore I just found myself, as it were, beginning to 
pray for you. Um, trust the Lord for you that I want for you because I am so happy that you have come into the faith. And then in verse three, he says, blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So reflect again, why is Paul so excited about the fact that the believers had come to know Jesus? The reason being because of what knowing Jesus means. And, you know, I remember many of the, well, not so much so now, but many of the former students and staff of CCCD will remember my father, you know, and he was always, you know, joking with the students with his limited signs. But he always said, if you have had something, a good experience, I'm sure that you want to share that good experience with others. And I'm sure that we agree with that. You know, um, something that you're enjoying or you have gone somewhere and had a beautiful time, you're going to tell others, you're going to tell them about what great, the great experience that you had. And so Paul is here introducing to the Ephesians in this letter, at the beginning of the letter, he's saying to them, grace from our God and Father, Jesus Christ. And he's saying to them in verse three, um, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. So in the warmth and the the love that is coming across in this letter. Paul is allowing them to realize what you have come into. You've come into something new, you've come into something good, and it, you have been blessed in so many ways. This is an, an inheritance, you know, and most people, they're happy to hear of an inheritance. And so Paul is pointing the Ephesians specifically to what they have inherited. Accord and verse four, as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So here we are, we're recognizing what God has done for us in Christ Jesus. He has, he, he has before the foundations of the world, he has, um, we, has made us holy and blameless for those who would believe in him. Verse five, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children in Jesus Christ to himself according to his good pleasure. And verse six, to the praise to his glory of his, to the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. So Paul is here saying, this is, and he's building, it's like building blocks. He's building one block on top of the other. You have been blessed, you have been called, you have been chosen, you have been predestinated to the praise of his glory. The, to the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made you accepted in the beloved. And you know, the word accepted is a beautiful word, you know, and this is coming from um, the, the Apostle Paul, and he's pointing out to the believers, you have been accepted, you have been accepted, you know, and this is special, accepted in the beloved, beloved to whom we have redemption through his blood, through what Jesus Christ has done for us. Therefore, we have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. And that redemption came with forgiveness of our sins, according 
to the riches of his grace, wherein we have, wherein he hath abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Further on, Paul is then beginning to recognize and to agree with um, the to, to point out and emphasize to the, Christ, the new Christians in verse 11, in whom also we have obtained inheritance. And here he's using the word inheritance. This is what you have come into, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. So God in his goodness, in his mercy, by his grace, his love towards us. All that has gone on between verses 1 and 11, this, this is all yours in Christ Jesus. And the reason I'm emphasizing this is that we as board members, as staff members, as students, we have come together. And who are we? What is our position. We have been positioned in Christ. And Paul, again, I told you I would go back to verse 15. He said, wherefore, when I heard that you had accepted the Lord, I wanted to point out to you what your acceptance of Jesus meant. You know that you have been blessed and you have been chosen and you've been forgiven. But here again, in verse 15, wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in all my prayers. And with that understanding and with who, who we are coming together for an AGM, I think it is pointing us to the fact that we have our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're not an ordinary people. We're not just a, another secular body coming together for their AGM. But we are called of God. Our, our, our staff members are Christians. Our staff members are persons who have committed their lives. And when you are employed by the Caribbean Christian Center for the Deaf, you are presented with a statement of faith that you all agree to. And therefore, it points us to our responsibility and board members also, you know, so it is the board of directors, it is the staff members, and it is the students. We are all one because, of course, Many of our students have also accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, and we now have a responsibility. And the responsibility that we have now have is that recognizing the unity that it is in Christ that we have been unified, we have been brought together, having been brought together, we have a responsibility because we are, as it were, birds of a feather flocking together. And by his grace, he has brought us into this ministry. And so I finally got into it where I'm saying it is a ministry that the Lord has brought us into. The board of directors, they have their specific set of responsibilities. The chairman of the board or new chairman of the board has been serving for a year, has been serving um, unto God. The board of directors, having accepted their responsibilities, are serving unto God. The staff members serving at different levels, the, the, the campus directors, the teachers, the, uh, the, the, the workers, the ancillary workers, the, 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 the caterers, every one of us joining together, you united together, so that we can be carrying out this responsibility. And how are we united together? Where we were united in Christ Jesus. Who are we? We're a people who have been called. We are people who have been chosen. We're people who have been blessed, redeemed, 
forgiven, and we know are saying we are returning to God. We're giving back to the Lord in our service, in, the, in our conduct, in the way that we accept this awesome responsibility um, as persons united, even the students, you have a responsibility also in your conduct, in the way you, you, you um, represent the school, you are ambassadors. And so we are all ambassadors. We're all accepting this um, responsibility because we know who we are, called of God, positioned by him, blessed by him. And so together, we are, we, I, I, my, 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 my challenge for us all is that we adopt verse 16. So having been brought together and recognized that we have been brought together, we're going to ad adopt verse 16. We see for each one of us, season not to give thanks. And that is going to, we are going to demonstrate love God through the Holy Spirit for each other and making mention of you in my prayer, says Paul. So my challenge, my encouragement, my encouragement for each one of us as board of directors, as staff members, as students, we are recognizing that we have been brought into one, um, one fellowship, as it were. We've been brought into one association and we are together seeking to represent Jesus Christ. We're united in Christ. We're seeking to, to express our love one to another. And because we recognize how we are positioned in Jesus Christ, we're going to be praying one for another, lifting each other up, each campus seeking to, to, to that silver lining, that silver thread, which is going to bind us together. Montego Bay, Kingston, not Patrick, Jamaica Village, where we're united, we're being bound together by that silver thread, by Jesus Christ. And because we have him and by the power of the Holy Spirit, because I'm, I'm going to be closing now, but Paul reminded the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the father of glory may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and all things, the spirit of wisdom and revelation. And as we get down to, to ver verse um, 19, we are reminded that 20, um, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead. And we, um, speaking of the power that we have in Jesus Christ, and it says, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to, on, to, to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power. And so we have it all, we have it all in Christ Jesus. We have been blessed. Um, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us. We have been blessed. We have been brought together by the Holy Spirit of God. And so we are saying that together, we recognize that though the task be difficult, it is awesome. There are financial um, constraints. There are um, disciplinary problems. There are there is a need for new initiatives to, 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 to enable the, 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 the ministry to continue. But we are all under God coming together by the power of the Holy Spirit, enabled and empowered to carry out the work that God has given us to do. As we recognize the, our position and our, our, our responsibility, may we under God trust Him and believe Him for this new year, newly empowered to do the work that he has given us to do. May God bless you all.
I hand over to you, Madam Chair. Please turn the speaker's microphone on. That's better. Let us go. We come before you just giving you thanks and praise. We acknowledge your sovereignty. You are the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and we thank you that your wisdom, you established this ministry to operate and perform to your glory and to the benefit of your children. We thank you for everyone that you have placed in this institution, in this vision. We thank you for the hearts that have stayed on you. We thank you for the word just shared a while ago, and we ask Lord that it will rest and remain on the hearts of, of everyone who has seen it and heard it. We ask you to cover the rest of the discussion this afternoon. We ask you to guide our, our speech, our actions, and our interpretations. We ask you to make all clear. And at the end of the time remaining, we are able to say thank you and give thanks for being here this afternoon. Amen. So I'm, I'm glad for the change in the interpreter. I was going to encourage it. <laughs> So as we proceed, we have just about 50 minutes left in, in the forum. So we're going to be moving very quickly, but we do have a few things that we are going to cover. So just to let you know, we are going to go through the minutes of the last meeting so that we can have your consensus and agreement that they do in fact represent our discussion from the last meeting. We will have updates from the leadership team. I will categorize it as such. Um, we will have participation from our students. I know they're ready to share with us. Um, we're going to have a discussion about the board and the direct the election of officers. Another um, item from our students, and then we will close the meeting in prayer. So it's not a lot, but it's going to be interesting and it's going to be fun, and we're going to move through it. So we're going to start right now with the review of the reading of the minutes in this case. We um, apologize, we were not able to circulate the minutes of the last meeting in advance. So we are going to take a few minutes, very importantly, to read through the minutes so that when we ask you to vote and confirm that they are accurate, you are able to do so. Now, our minutes are going to be read by our director, Dr. Patty Stout, online. We're going to ask that you pay attention to the interpreting. And at the end, when we ask for your agreement, do feel free to use your Zoom controls and raise your hand to indicate that you vote for the acceptance of the minutes and then someone else can second it. We only need one person to motion, one person to accept. And then once that's done, we can move on to the next item. If you have questions also before, please raise your hand and wait until we acknowledge you before you ask the question. But do also feel free to put the, chat, the questions in the chat. So thanks very much, um, Dr. Stout. Thank you. Thank you. I will read just down through them. On Tuesday, February 15th, 2022, from 3.35 p.m. to 5.01 p.m., the meeting was held by Zoom and also live streamed on Facebook. Our theme was building a stronger organization to empower lives. I'm watching the interpreter. Can everyone see the interpreter? Yes, if the controller could please pin the interpreter's window because it's hard to see on the screen.
There we go. Perfect. Okay, good. We're a team. Um, the welcome was given by Ms. Grace Lindo, the board chairperson, and called to order. And a warm welcome to greet all. And then we had devotions by Mrs. Maria Brown from on the board. She opened in prayer and delivered a call, a summons to examine our hearts for what do we have to give to CCCD. Mrs. Brown referenced Acts 2, 44 to 45 as the scripture of reflection where she noted we are not blessed with only money, but also time, teamwork, and sponsors. And we were encouraged to continue in prayer. Then the next approval of last meeting's minutes, I, Dr. Stout, director of the board, read a summary of the minutes. This year, they asked me to read the whole report and participants responded to a Google form to indicate their approval or decline for approval of the minutes from AGM 2021. Year end updates. The executive director's report was given via video. The JDV summary report, um, sewing, Dryer Angel quota for the year was 37,000. Production was 31,000. Sewing continues to be the main income earner for JDV since COVID-19. Next point, life teams. We had six face-to-face -face and three virtual teams for the year. Next point, farming, JDV cattle herd size is 38. Next, business lease and residential rental. JDV and Bartley's return to full monthly lease payment uh, in July, 2021. There will be lease agreements for mushroom and castor bean production. Next, project. The CCCD RISE or EU Deaf Women's Sewing Project finished in March, 2021. 13 deaf ladies were trained in sewing and forest management and human right projects were approved. They were scheduled to start in March, 2022. Transition program, next. 12 trainings planned, 11 happened. The Kingston campus report, we said farewell to Principal Daly, August 31st. PTA orientation were held virtually in September. Classes resumed virtually September 7th, 2021. The new principal, Ms. Terry Ann, Bernard took up her responsibilities in September 27th. The Deaf Optimist Club made a donation of three boxes of masks and three gallons of hand sanitizer on September 30th. The campus reopened for face-to-face -face classes on October 11th. Since February, 2022, a total of 27 students are enrolled, two of which are new students. 
There are 14 girls in the dorm and four boys on dorm. The remaining are commuting students. The struggles highlighted including students and staff having lost family members. Wisdom in training students in biblical truths. Need for divine strength to all staff as we fulfill the PVM. Opportunities for partnerships in the school's community and opportunities for income generation on campus. Next, Knockpatrick Summary Report. The campus expressed appreciation for the tablets received from the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, and the Manchester Cooperative Credit Union to aid in our students' online classes. Ms. Felicia Campbell, guidance counselor, received a plaque and a diary from J A G C E for serving on the executive committee as co-chair and the deaf empowerment committee. Community partnership was maintained with entities like Jamaica Constabulary Force, Barita, and the Manchester 4-H clubs. Residential care staff had fulfilled the requirement to become heart trust satisfied, vegetable crop production. Next, Montego Bay summer report. The CADE program continued to produce work ready graduates with the programs seeing in recent times 20 graduates. The partnership with the restaurant of Jamaica in providing employment to the graduates continue to see better days. Data entry early childhood education and commercial food preparation were new courses that were added to the offering at the campus. Next, election of officers led by Ms. Grace Lindo, board chair. Gratitude was tendered towards CCCD allowing us to serve you. Ms. Lindo expressed heartfelt appreciation and gratitude for all stakeholders involved and the staff members who were involved in serving CCCD. She introduced the current board members and presented them for approval to the organization. There were no objections, so the board members were appointed. Carol Robertson has accepted the nomination to serve as chairperson of the board. Next, financial report. The financial report included a summary of income and expenditure for the financial year 2020, 2021. The breakdown of the summary is as follows. First, 2021 income were 171 million Jamaican and expenses 167 million. Income and expenses increased from 2020. However, expenses were still below pre-COVID levels. The year ended with a net cash balance of 11.2 million 
down 2.4 million from 2020. The 11.2 million cash represents 80% of one month's operating expenses. There are some charts in the report and a copy can be requested. Income highlights. Donations from child sponsorship and general contributions continue to be the major source of income, about 68%. Social enterprises and rental incomes have increased each year. In 2021, the income nearly doubled to 37 million, mostly from dryer angel sewing. The life team revenue was 10 million, and that is only 25% of pre COVID levels, so a loss of 30 million. Income from our sewing, agricultural, and rentals has officially offset the life team decline. Expense highlights. Staffing and utilities continue to be the major sources of expense, 69%. Food and life team expenses, 7% combined, have declined due to COVID. We expect these to increase as students and life team activities return to campuses. Outlook for the current year, our financial situation appears to be stable, thanks to the blessing of our social enterprises and gracious support of donors. Thanks to our campus leaders, stewardship, and finance department for keeping timely, accurate records. We navigated through the past two years with God's faithfulness. waiting for the new interpreter there. Thank you. Approval of auditor. Kent Mogler moved for BDO to continue to serve as the auditors for CCCD. Jean Lowry Chin second the motion and there was consensus on the decision. The motion was carried. Next, recognition of the lives of those connected with CCCD who have recently passed. Mrs. Bucknor, wife of Glenford Bucknor. Jean Sharp lost her mother. Mr. John Meeks, social enterprise officer, lost his mother and nephew. One cousin of the ladies at JDV died tragically. Cressmore Flesher and Nigel Johnson also lost loved ones. Adjournment. Carol Robinson, Robertson, incoming board chair, extended her greetings and closed with prayer. Grace Lindo, opened the floor for questions. Mr. Shaw moved for the adjournment of the meeting. Lola Wright seconded the motion. All were in agreement, bringing the meeting to adjournment at 5.05 p.m. Respectfully submitted, Mrs. Patty Stout, Board of Directors. Thank you, interpreters.
Let's turn on. Sorry, we have to miss some seats on this side. Dr. Thank you so much for the reading. Thank you so much. Make sure all other microphones in that room are off. And only one set of speakers on. Better? Yes. Thank you, Dr. Stout, for the reading of the minutes uh, from the 62nd AGM held in February 15, 2022. I thank you not only for doing that reading, but also for the way in which you did it because you continue to be or to exemplify what it means to act in love. I, I really appreciate the care with which you read, not just for the persons who are hearing as we are accustomed to and, and the deaf who are receiving the interpreter, interpretation, but also for the work of the interpreters. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. It was super clear and it was clear enough that I am confident in my move to ask for someone in the forum to motion for accepting the minutes as read for the 862nd AGM, February 15, 2022. I see so Mr. Sam, Leon Sam has moved for accepting. Anybody to second? And if anybody is raising hand online, someone will have to help me to see that. Seconded by? I'd like to move the second also to Thank you. And thank you for that too. I didn't rec wait, I remember to wait for comments. <laughs> That's what happened when you give attention to time. We did have somebody motion a second online. Who was it? Anna K. Williams. Williams. So thank you. Thank you, um, Marcia, also. So thank you um, for that. As we move through the agenda, I'm going to make a slight adjustment and I'm going to make comments on the election of officers. So under the election of officers, I would like to note that um, during the year 2022, we did receive resignation from Mrs. Nicola King. Uh, Nicola King resigned from the board. Her resignation was, was humbly accepted. Also during the period, or having ended the period, I should say, um, we have reviewed at the board level and reconfirmed the, the commitment and the interest of every board member in remaining on the board. Um, we have also observed that we do have, I believe it is actually two roles on the board that need to be filled and we will be addressing those during the next few months and we will advise on those actions we are interested in um, adding to our board membership skills in the area of education so that we have the education focus and leadership there. And also we do need to reestablish a representative from the leadership or the, 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 the team on the campuses. So we need to have that representation as well. So those members we will seek to add during the next few months. So having said that, the board, as it is right now, um, is desirous of continuing its service. So I would like to hear if anyone has any objection or to the contrary, if I can have someone motion for the board members to remain. But either way, I would like to have feedback and I'd ask if the team can help me in seeing that. Does anybody have any objection to any member of the board remaining? Thank you. Does anyone have, uh, would like to move a motion to accept that the present board continue? I see 
Ben, are you raising a motion to have the board remain? Thank you so much. And, and that's going to be seconded by Anna K. Williams. You are seconding the motion to have the board remain. Yes. Thank you so much, Anna K. Appreciate your participation. So we will move that the board um, has been accepted. We also um, have to address our auditors, and you know that the role of our auditing firm is to review our books, our financial, and to confirm that we are keeping good and honest books that are serving the mission. We have used a company called BDO in the past. We have found their work to continue to be satisfactory. And so we also move a motion or ask you to accept our proposal that we continue to use BDO as our auditing firm. So again, I need someone to motion that we keep BDO as our auditors for the financial year 2022 to 2023, which ends in July. Yes? There's a hand on line, I hear. So let's take the motion from Kent Mogler on the board and we'll take the second thing uh, from G. Lowry Chin, also on the board. So thank you very much, everyone. So as we continue to progress through the agenda, uh, being cognizant of time, I'm going to ask our executive director, Mr. Sams, Leon Sams, to make a presentation on our movement into discussing our year-to-date activities in the year 2022-2023. And he'll update on our organizational vision and mission. Thanks, Mr. Sands. Oh, she got behind you, I'm sorry. Good afternoon, all. So, first, we're going to just remind ourselves of our purpose, vision, and mission of CCCD, and the organization updates will follow uh, in a video presentation. So, we're called to serve in a community where there's the evidence. Um, of God's presence with us. Um, he has asked us to join our mental or physical or intellectual and our spiritual strengths and capabilities to allow his people to realize their fullest potential. We're asked to do this with three things in mind. One, a purpose, two, a vision, and three, a mission. So our purpose, to steward God's resources for his glory. And the vision he asked us to bear in mind is to teach, teach, and nurture the dead. The mission is to enable the deaf community with full language access in JSL and in English and information in a community whereby students and employees are empowered with knowledge to give a personal, to have a personal relationship with the Lord, appreciate biblical diversity and to understand the functions of the world through deaf education, deaf ministries, and the social enterprise initiatives. Thank you. So for the remaining, thank you, Mr. Sands. Um, so I'm sorry, it is important to remember our purpose. Sometimes life causes distractions and the distractions um, are followed by emotion. And when we get caught up in our emotions, we tend to forget our purpose. So it's very important to have a refresher of that. So thank you, Mr. Sams. So for the remainder items on our agenda, I did a little reshuffle because our interpreters are going to leave us, both of them at 4.30. But I believe that as we move through the rest of the agenda, we can cope. <laughs> We had some signers in the room, but also the rest of our present of, of our engagement is going to be through video presentation, and we have a nice couple of items for the students. Forgive me. So I'm going to ask that we now go into the highlights of our struggles and prayer requests, and also our financial report. Thank you. Thank you to our interpreters before they leave. <laughs> I 
last week Sunday at New Life Church of, for the Deaf, around 25 people attended our morning service. Praise be to God. Uh, we also want to continue to devote ourselves to meeting in person for fellowship. It is important for us as believers to gather together as a full expression of the church and the community. This is important for us to do so. Now I'll share some of the struggles that we have had. Our deaf ministry need to be more, um, have more men leading um, as we work together as a team. Prior request for our needs as a deaf ministry for more men um, workers to be involved in the ministry and for more resources and help for spiritual growth um, and access for the deaf persons to know more about God through reading of the Bible. But until then, may the Lord Jesus Christ continue to be our focus for this year, 2023.
Go and look on the bed. Mother. I said, look on the bed. That's your school. Somebody move with Macklin, please. Miss Macklin. Yours. Please mute on. No, I'm gonna play too much. Come on, let's shut it. Why am I not hearing anything?
uh, microphone again. Thank you. Let's give a celebration to our very capable communication team. Um, Marsha Beckford, I think team of one, the young content, but did a wonderful job. Last year was really, really good in the presentation that we had last year. This is now um, taking it to a whole nother level. And I am just really, really pleased and proud of the work that's done in here. So again, let's, let's give it up for, for Tasha and our able team of reporters. Now we have to be careful that we don't lose them to TBJ, CBM, um, RJR, and all the other places where they can <laughs> use this talent. So thank you, everyone. Um, really great. I want to also thank every single person who has participated in the results that we are seeing here, because I, I don't want anyone to take it lightly. That's a lot. It's a lot of stuff that has happened on our campuses, that's happened in our mission, mission. Um, a lot of good, positive stuff. And uh, one of the other reasons I'll, I'll lift my hand up, Marsha, is because she made it look easy. <laughs> But I know for sure, and I'm sure you all know, that wasn't easy. So it really is great work. Congratulations. I'm going to ask everybody, just give yourself that applause. It's not um, team of one in, in communications, but that doesn't happen with just one or two or three people. And it is so easy to have 100 people focused on this. But if you're not together, it's not going to work. And so again, now I want you to just give your applause and your encouragement to God because we, are, we heard in our devotion, we are united under God. And in that we are on the one mission to serve God. And our number one command is to go out there and preach and teach and nurture to bring people to a saving knowledge of Christ. So congratulations again, everyone. And thank you, Jesus for what you have put on the hearts of people to make us want to do this, enjoy doing it, and want to do it with quality, because that was good quality, amen? So I'm gonna challenge the team now, because I have to have a challenge. Next year's report, I'm gonna challenge you to give us a chapter on spiritual growth and spiritual development. Let's have some testimonies in there, all right? Um, you know, I'm going to put that out there for you. So let's get that going and let's see how we are growing in Christ and in our spiritual lives. Amen. Amen. Perfect. So without further ado, we are now going to invite the participation. But before I do that, let me just check in with the interpreters. Are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> you have to leave. Okay. One is when you have to leave now because he said both were 4.30. But that's fine. So let's just say thank you. Um, we appreciate everything that you've done and we can allow you to leave with our thanks and take care as you go. <laughs> so now we're going to invite the children to participate. Um, so the children from CCCB Kingston, I'm gonna invite you to come up here and Show us what you got. <laughs> and as you come, I want to thank you because I know it's not easy for you to sit and listen to all of this talking and all of these presentations and everything. So thank you for your patience as you waited to show us what's happening. So we're going, we have to, I think we have to come here. Oh, my God. So the people online are not going to see them. Should I get right now? Let me come out and review. Good afternoon. This psalm is from Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Be strong, be courageous, don't be dismayed, don't be afraid. 
the Lord your God, the Lord your God, he is there, he is with you. Doesn't matter where you go, everywhere you go, he is with you. Be strong, be courageous, don't be dismayed, don't be frightened. The Lord your God, the Lord your God, he is there, he is with you. Wherever you go, it doesn't matter where you go, he is with you. Can you see me? So we created this song ourselves and it's from the Bible and it's from Romans chapter eight. Yes, yes, I, I, oh no, no, without a doubt. Nothing, nothing can separate, can separate me from God's love. Yes, yes, I, I, no, no, without a doubt that nothing, nothing can separate me from God's love.
Hallelujah. So we thank you for both of those presentations. I really, really enjoyed them. Um, it's fact that Jesus came and he died so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. And it means, as the songs have told us, or told us that we don't need to worry, we don't need to feel depressed, challenged in any way, 
because God has made the way. And we only need to speak the name of Jesus. Doesn't matter what the situation is, we speak him into every situation. And then trust and have faith that everything is already all right because we have already won the victory. Amen? So continue to be focused. I congratulate and I applaud everyone for this wonderful meeting, all the work that has happened and everything that we're planning to do as we continue through 2023. Be encouraged, be in good cheer and go and get what God has for us. Amen. So now I'm going to invite, um, we like to start with the word, we want to end with the word of God. So I'm going to invite Ben Bukima to close in prayer for us. And then after that, um, we can invite the students to come back from the Kingston campus. And I see that some people didn't hear the music for the Mark Patrick team. They were saying they weren't hearing the music. So we can play it again. <laughs> so we'll invite the students after the prayer to come back again and do your song. Popular, everyone wants to hear it again. Um, okay, I will we'll pray and then adjourn and then we'll invite the students. Okay, then I guess I'll sign for you. I'll try to All right, thank you. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you just for the blessings that you give us uh, every day, the blessings that you give us in life, in work, in family, in fellowship. Lord, you are a good father. And we just thank you that together we have a ministry. Um, we serve together. Uh, we serve uh, your people, your children. So now, uh, today, we just thank you for blessing the ministry of CCCD. We thank you for, for staff, for students, for uh, board members. We thank you for, for money, for support, for people and friends. Lord, you are good. So now we just ask, um, what for your just continued blessing your continued leading in our lives. Lord, please just lead uh, our ministry. Come here to earth and lead us, Lord. So now as we, we close, we just pray for the staff, the teachers, students. We pray um, that you just do the only thing you can. Um, just lead us. Thank you for this time together. Thank you for uh, every campus leader person here today. Um, it's in your name uh, we pray. Amen. I'll find out. It's to invite someone to call the meeting adjourn. Anyone who wants to so move? So move. And anyone to second? Jean. Jean Harrison. Thank you, Jean. God bless everyone. And thank you so much. See you soon. And take care of yourselves until we see each other again. So, students, please stand in process.